Hey guys, got an interesting problem. Not, not the end of the world, but I just wanted to show you guys this. This machine the uh, cross feed that goes in here was like glued into place something happened with the grease I'm not sure what now this thing was in the back of my truck as a demo model going around and it got wet a few times but didn't have a problem for like the first two years. Then one day I put another cross feed in here and I think it had some different grease on it and the grease actually cooked off. If you look, that grease is like, it's dry, it's sandable. It's not like grease anymore. It's not like all the grease wicked out. It's like it had a chemical reaction with the aluminum body. Here's the cross feed that was in there. And it came out beautiful. This was grease. There is like a perfect grease feel to this. It's got like a perfect clean layer of grease on it. This thing was so wedged in there, I had to pound on it with a copper hammer for about three hours to knock this thing out with about a half a ton of screw tension. It was locked up solid as can be. So we're going to do a little checking out and make sure that there's nothing wrong with this. We're going to pop this into another machine and see if it slides in this other machine. I had to put this nut on the end of the shaft just so that I could put enough screw force on it to uh, push the cross feed out. I probably had near a thousand pounds of screw force on it. It was ready to pull two three-eighths bolts. I had them tightened down trying to push this out with screw force. I had two three-eighths bolt like tightened down with a wrench putting pressure on it to push it out that way and then pounded on it with a copper hammer twisting it back and forth and knocking it that way for three hours to get that thing out of there. So I'm going to pop this into another machine and see if there's a problem with this. I don't see anything wrong with it. I've already inspected it pretty closely. There's, I don't see a problem there. So I'm going to pull it out and stick it in this one. Jordan, give me a hand. Sir, sir. We just pop that one out? Night? Yep. I bet you can pop that one out. Sir. That's how it should come out. No, Just healthy amount right of grease there. on it. I'm just gonna stick it in there as is and see if it slides like it's supposed to. I'm hitting the table with the box, man. No. You're hitting. You're hitting the feed screw. That's sliding. Okay. That's sliding perfectly normal. There's no extra resistance there. So obviously, the problem is here. That shit cooked off like a motherfucker. Like it had some kind of chemical reaction going on there. It wasn't light on grease. There's plenty of grease in there. Although it does look like there was, I'm suspecting that there was some reaction between two different kinds of grease. I'm not sure about it. Fixing this won't be a problem. I think it's all just gonna clean right up. There's a blue can over there and a shop right. I don't think it has anything to do with the uh, chassis being aluminum. I think it has something to do with the aluminum because it did not stick to the on the steel at all. The steel part came out fucking perfect. 
your, uh, there you go. I'm just going to clean one spot and see what it looks like. Yeah, that, yeah, lacquer thinner takes that right off. And there doesn't look to be anything wrong with that. I don't see anything out of the ordinary on that bore. I mean, we got a little bit of scratching, but that's not really surprising with a machine where that slid back and forth for 20 or 30 years. That's normal. That, that's not, there is a little, like, staining there. Like a little bit of corrosion. If, uh, if anyone watching this has any experience with, like, grease reactions, I'd like you to chime in, because this is, could have been lithium and graphite greases reacting with the aluminum, or anyone who knows what's going on there, please leave us a comment. We'd love to yeah, hear. this is an interesting one. I'd like to know more about that. Not that I've ever seen this before. It's not a very common thing. No, I've never, I've never seen it. Not one. This side doesn't seem to have. That one comes off with black dust. Gritty black dust. Which makes me think graphite grease. This one doesn't have the like pocking kind of. Or the caked on dryness. Well, it doesn't have these little spots on it. See those little spots right there? That doesn't look okay. like uh, corrosion? That looks like the beginnings of corrosion and we don't see it over here. We just have like normal action of the, you know, yeah that looks like a, doesn't look like there's anything wrong with that bore on this side. The, the scratching you see right there is pretty par Travel. for the pretty par for the course yeah, on all of these machines after they've been used a half bazillion times. I'm not worried about grooves and like the angle of travel. It's the shit that's across the grain that's gonna fuck us up. Well let's You wanna try and stick that sucker back in with a new layer of grease man? No I think I wanna dig every speck of that old grease out of there. We'll see. I'll do another video update after when I pull out all this messy grease. That's going to make a huge mess. That's two hands.